Hello and welcome to yet another video and this is actually a photo shoot video. This is my model, Zita. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> We're here in my hometown. This is the uh, lake we have here in my hometown. Well, our hometown at this point. Yeah. So yeah, let's get into the video. <laughs> So today we're actually in Hanova and it's a very very gloomy day as you can see and mm -hmm. it's just the perfect weather for some contrasty kind of shoot. And since Zita is a dancer, we thought that it might be cool to do some dance move kind of photo shoot. And Zita has this really really nice red skirt, I actually don't know the terminology for it. I'm sure there is an appropriate name for the kind of dress or the skirt that she's wearing. And to be honest it really reminded me of this emojis on the iPhones and I thought why not just do some really nice movement shots with this dress as well. And for today, the main lenses I'll be using are the 35mm and the 85mm. I'll be keeping it between f1.2 and f1.4 for the 85 And just as usual as well, I'll be keeping between f1.4 and f1.6 with the 35mm. Yes, that's pretty good. I like that. Your face also lights up pretty nicely, let me show you. Your face lights up pretty nicely. <laughs> yes, stand like here. Yeah, and I'm just gonna be in front, so you're front lit. Okay, so here the weather decided to give us a little bit of sun to work with and yeah, we just kind of went for it and tried to photograph and move as much as we can. So yeah. So actually, this is not the first location. The first location, I mistakenly shot the time-lapse instead of filming. So I'll be showing some results as well as some sample time-lapse at the end of the video. Uh, there were really, really nice shots. Zita was actually brave enough to actually climb the tree and we got some really, really amazing photos from it. But for now, we're actually shooting underneath the train track bridge, which has really, really nice brick structure, I find. And I think that the overall colors would give it a nice contrast to the outfit that Zita is wearing. Do it. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I didn't know it was a lot of mud. <laughs> Yeah, take your time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, it's usable. It's just sometimes the the skirt goes a bit too high. Sometimes. Yeah. Wait. Sorry. Leg cramp. Because <laughs> I slipped over there. <laughs> I didn't know it was mud. Yeah, yeah. Just, just one minute. Or 30 seconds. Wait. Okay, I should try. Yeah, go. Wow. I'm really liking it. I don't know if it's really tack and focus, but I'm liking it. <laughs> Whew. Let me show you some. Okay, oh, uh, show me. I'm gonna be there when I jump. Oh, you wanna jump? Yeah. Oh, wait, can, can you do just one with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that kind of, okay. The downside here is it's really, really muddy, and also Zita needs a little bit of space to move around and to do some of her dance move. The width of the space isn't really, really great, but uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Hey. When you were doing that, it was actually quite nice. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, great. <laughs> Can you step forward just half a step? Yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Wait, do that again. That was really nice. 
One more. Yeah. I think we have it for this location. Yeah. yeah. So now we're actually heading towards the next location, which you saw in the beginning of the video, which is this really nice green bridge. It's, well, it's muddy right now, but usually it's really nice. And I just think it might be a nice urban architecture or structure that would add to the image. And also since the background is like an alleyway, it might just add a little bit more mood into the image that I was looking for. Yeah, maybe around like this column. Yeah. Kind of like a sit down shot and just lean your back against the uh, fence and then just kind of looking at me. After the neon person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is great. And my GoPro battery died. But anyway, here are the images. And it's sad though, because a lot of the images are actually really, really good. And I just wish that you guys would also have seen the behind the scenes of that. But anyway, after the slideshow of these images, I will also show the accidental time-lapse video that I set on my GoPro to take. It should have been a normal behind the screen video, but well, I messed up. <laughs> Sorry about that. But despite my mistakes and the technical side of things, I wish you guys can actually take something away from the video. I hope you enjoy somewhat a little bit of it, at least. If you need a free photography guidebook, it's linked down in the description below. It's absolutely for free. No need to submit your email address, nothing, just click and download. I will not bombard you with any newsletter nonsense. And uh, yeah, I thank you all very, very much for watching. Stay safe, have fun shooting. Until next time, bye for now.